remember when I said at the beginning, when people were saying, okay, who would you, who do you think will win the World Cup? And I said I wasn't really sure. But then I then said, I've got a funny feeling about Portugal. It's not pretty. It's not exciting. Issues with the team. They have they suffered a lot, both against Spain and Morocco. They drew against Spain. They beat Morocco. Four points. I've got a funny feeling about Portugal. I've got a very... Guys, I mean, because I put out a little cue out there. I, I put out a cue. I said, can Juju win you a World Cup? It's a fair question. Can Juju win a World Cup? I'm just look, I'm looking at it on the Santos right there, and I think Santos is using spiritual powers. Because I look at this team, I say, wait a minute, how are they winning this game? How are they in this game? Because you look at the chances that Morocco missed. Obviously, look at the Christian goal. We'll definitely get to, 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 to that as well. But Rui, that save by Rui Pat Patricio, I mean, how, how do you save that? How do you go that and the ball goes up and away? Because I've been a keeper before, and that is an incredible save. Not just the initial save, is how he palms it up and makes sure that it goes away from danger. Because that save should bounce back and ricochet for, for, for someone to pull back in. And the Benatia made so many... I mean, oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I may have to induct the Morocco finish. Like, Morocco's finishing may have to get in, inducted. Um, but then you look at that Cristiano goal. Again, look, I'm telling you right now, and I think people need to understand this. I mean... I, th I think this is the best goal scorer of all time. And people need to understand there's a difference between being a goal scorer and being a football player. A great footballer is how good are you with the ball at your feet, feet to ball, technical ability on the ball. As far as goal scoring prowess, off the ball movement, finishing, heading, right foot, left foot, is there a better goal scorer than this dude? You know, I didn't see Pele's repertoire, so I can't judge by it. From Cro Cristiano's done, I mean, because that is a game, that's just, that's, that's just goal scoring. But then people said, because I, I saw articles say, look, man, he was marked, but he just can't, can't be, be stopped. No. I saw the replay. And he was being marked, but the guy that was marking him was still watching the ball. A quality defender, very few defenders can do this. They can watch the man, but also be aware where, where the ball is, is, is coming from. But really, the advice I would give to defenders is that you don't don't want don't really go tight on on the guy. Get a few yards away, but just be aware because if you sell yourself with how you're marking him, then because of his quick movements, he can he can lose you. You've got to have a few yards away so that he now has to guess whether you're gonna go tight or you're gonna go deep. So you just have to go go a few yards away and then boom. It's about how quick your, your reactions and your reflexes are. That, that's, that's where the, the better the defenders have those quick reactions. Because Godin, you put him in, in those positions in there, Godin will know how to uh, make that right movement because he's such a good de de defender by his interactions. But still, taking all nothing away, it's, it's, it's an amazing goal. And he's, he's on his way to perhaps getting that golden boots. I mean, Cristiano may end up getting this flipping golden boots. But Morocco, man... Again, if you're over right now, you did all that that you could. Because you've given the team a platform to try to create chances. That's all you can do as a manager. You can't be on the pitch and put the ball in the net. The rest is down to the players. I mean, bro, Morocco, what the hell? I mean, what the hell? I mean, the amount of opportunities these guys had, the amount of chances they had, and you just couldn't put it away. So, Morocco, you only have yourselves to blame. You only have yourselves to blame. Of course, Morocco with the, with the better team, but... They didn't deserve to draw. They didn't deserve to win because you wasted your chances. Portugal, they took their chance. They defended when they didn't need they, they, they it to, but you did put the pop on in the net. So, i say it again. I've got a funny feeling about this Portugal side. Because they're doing the same thing that they were doing in the Euros. They don't look great. They don't look good. But there is a belief in this team. And it's like, even when they came off the pitch, they're like, Job done. It doesn't matter how it looked like, job done. Because their goal is we're here to try and win the World Cup. It doesn't matter how we do it. We just want to get there and take that cup and bring it back to Lisbon. That's what these guys are doing. And I think for Fernando Santos, it's like, I couldn't give three fudges what the hell would we look like. We're trying to win the World Cup. And I'm sorry, I admire that. I 
I'm with I'm I'm with the winners. That's where I am. I'm I'm on the side with the winners. I'm not with the losers. I'm with the winners. I'm with the guys that want to carry this. It's about this. It's it's it's, it's about this. This is all it's about. That's actually this is I sacrifice. I spit blood for this. This is all I need. I need this is all that matters. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter how you do it. Just win this. I'm gonna say again, man. We will see what happens, but guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a Half of Football Hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the Football Hot, for more analysis. Peace.